Hello friends and welcome to Pi Shine. This is part 18 of the Pi QT5 learning series. Today, we will see how to make an image to text GUI. We can select and extract the text information from an image in various languages. A GUI with zoom in and zoom out buttons for the imported image. Alright, first we need to bring the UI and Pi scripts from the part 8 web page at pyshine.com. Link to this page is available in the description below. First, copy and paste the UI script in a main.ui file. The UI script has all the initial information regarding the graphical user interface. Next, copy the Python code and paste it in a GUI.py file and save it as well. Now, we need to add three buttons. These are, zoom in, zoom out, and reset. Run the designer, and open up this main.ui file. This GUI was made in the part 8 of the Pi QT5 learning series. Let's drag and drop only three push buttons. Rename as zoom in, zoom out and reset. Save the file and press Ctrl plus R to visualize. Now, our main.ui file is updated. The next step is to add some script to Python file so that these buttons can function as required. Search for the existing push button call. Here, we will call the click connect functions for three buttons. Select all the functions and press tab and shift plus tab keyboard buttons. This will adjust the indentations. Now, we will add the queue scroll area function and set the UI label widget. Then, pass the scroll area to set central widget. We will set the scaled contents to true for the UI label. Now, we will add zoom functions. Note that, we have kept, the respective flag to true, and other to false, for each kind of zoom. When the zoom in, function will be called, the scale factor, will be increased, and apply to the UI label and image. The scale factor will be decreased when the zoom out, function is called. We will set the scale factor to 1 when the reset zoom function is triggered by the reset button. Here, we will get the image data from the PixMap of UI Label 2, then convert it to CV2 image. We will use the local image. 
Every time, we use UI label version of the image, instead of self.image. Let's run and test the GUI. We already have a sample image containing some text. Let's select any text to see how it is working. You can see that the zoom buttons are working fine. Notice how the aspect ratio is kept constant, when the zoom operations are performed.
That's all for today. If you have questions or suggestions, please comment. Have a nice day and see you again.